Harrison Ford was recently caught on camera landing on a taxiway instead of the runway at John Wayne Airport in Orange County. He started the same flight with some radio operator errors by first informing the tower he was in, in a helicopter instead of a plane and also communicating on the wrong frequency. But that's no biggie. It takes years of practice to become fluent in Captainese. But his next mistake could have cost the lives of others, and the FAA is conducting a full investigation into this. Instead of landing on a numbered runway, the wide lane with big bold runway numbers at the front, and dark markings from rep repeated landings from heavy commercial airliners, Harrison Ford decided to land on the taxiway and he might not have been using the glide slope indicator at the front of the runway, which also gave clues as to where to land. In the video, we see the shadow of his plane pass over a commercial jet, holding short for takeoff. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and Harrison Ford will likely be back up in the air in no time, because as we saw with a senator a few years ago, you can damn well fly and land how you please when you have the money. U.S. Senator James Inhofe, Inhofe landed his Cessna on a closed runway at an airport in Texas, scattering construction workers who ran for their lives. The plane hopscotched over them in six vehicles. It had a clearly visible X on it. And then after he finished his business, he used the taxiway for takeoff just flagrant disregard for rules and public safety. Have you ever landed where you're not supposed to? Why do you think Harrison Ford did this? Was it out of arrogance and self-exaltation? Or was, he, was it simply a lapse in judgment caused by the stress of flying? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And in the meantime, look out for low-flying Harrison Fords.